The past few decades, Serena Williams has made herself a true staple at SW19, reaching a total of 11 finals, winning 7 of them. Since we aren't able to see her go for number 8, I decided that it would be nice to rank her current title runs in terms of difficulty and opponent, quality and matches played, magnitude of the win, and Serena's overall performance. Without further ado, let's get into the countdown. At number 7, we have Serena's second Wimbledon title in 2003. During this time period, Serena was extremely dominant and the undisputed top tennis player in the world. While completing the Serena Slam in Melbourne earlier in the year, she suffered a heartbreaking loss to Justine Nannan in the Roland Garros semi-finals, a match that saw foul play on behalf of the Belgian. The defending champion dominated her first week competition, beating compatriot Jill Craver 6-3-6-3, then Belgian Els Callen 6-4-6-4, afterwards American Laura Granville 6-3-6-1, and in the round of 16, young Russian Elena Dementieva 6-2-6-2. The quarterfinals brought Serena's first true test as she dropped the opening set to Jennifer Capriotti in the quarterfinals. After the error-prone set, Serena cleaned things up to take the final two and the match with the score 2-6-6-2-6-3. The semifinal was much more straightforward as she got revenge over Justine, dominating her 6-3, 6-2. In the final, she faced her sister Venus once again, this being the fourth meeting of their previous five in women's major championships. Despite dealing with abdominal issues from her semifinal against Kim Kleisters, Venus came out the much stronger of the two, grabbing the first set 6-4. However, Serena raised her game while Venus is faltered, which contributed to the younger sister taking the final two sets and trophy with the score of 4-6, 6-4, Usually after winning majors, Serena is ecstatic and overcome with emotion, but here she was very subdued, which is because she knows how much the injury debilitated Venus. To be 100% honest, Venus's condition is why this title run is ranked so low, as I feel if she were healthy, it'd be a different story. The elder Williams later explained that she could hardly serve and even move, and this injury would eventually sideline her for the rest of the season. The final, although one of the few three setters between the sisters, was seen as messy and dodgy by many tennis journalists and commentators. Still, for Serena to stay focused and win, despite knowing her sister was in immense pain, is admirable and she is a deserved victor. Next up is Serena's 2009 Wimbledon title. Much like in 2003, Serena suffered a heartbreaking loss at the French Open to the eventual champion, this time falling to Kuznetsova in the quarters. She seemed to have put that behind her in London as she dominated in the first week, beating Nuzo Silva, Jarmila Groff, Roberta Vinci, and Daniela Hanchakova comfortably in straight sets. In the quarterfinal, Serena played her best match of the tournament, dominating Victoria Azarenka 6-2-6-3. In the final four, however, Serena's level dropped as she struggled against frequent foe Elena Dementieva. Dementieva, who had won three of their previous four meetings, managed to hold her nerves to take the first set in a tiebreaker. Serena, being the natural born fighter she is, leveled everything up at a set apiece, winning the second 7 5. In the decider, though, Serena faced immense pressure, facing a match point while down 4 5. She handled the pressure beautifully, playing a gutsy point to keep her in the running. She managed to escape that game and ended up taking this classic match with a score of 6-7, 7-5, 8-6. Now in the finals there would be an all Williams final for the second year in a row as Venus came into this match not dropping a set the whole tournament and destroyed world number 1 Dinara Safina 6-1-6 love in the semifinals. Because of this, Venus was the favorite, but Serena surprised her critics by staging an impressive 7-6-6-2 win for her third Wimbledon title and 11th major overall. This one meant a lot for Serena, as this was her first major on the lawns of Wimbledon in six years. She also won the doubles tournament with sister Venus. In her press conference after the victory, she gave us probably one of the most iconic tennis quotes of all time. At number 5, we have her win in 2010. Yet again, Serena after winning the Australian Open earlier in the year was coming off a crushing loss at Roland Garros, this time losing to Sam Stosher. 
After handling Michelle Larcher Brito, Anna Chuck Fadatse, and Dominika Silvakova handily in straight sets, Williams faced her first big test and Maria Sharapova. Serena saved three set points in the opener, managing to scrape it out in a tiebreaker. The second set was a little bit less drama free as she won that 6 4. Her next two matches were also of high quality as Williams took out eventual slam winners Lee Na and Petra Kvitova, dropping eight games in both matches. The final though was a much different story as Williams breezed by first time slam finalist Veris Vonareva 6 3 6 2. This was definitely one of her more dominant slam performances as a whole because for one she didn't drop a set the entire fortnight. Even more impressive is that she took out three high quality players in Sharapova, Na, and Kvitova consecutively. Her superior serving in combination with her penetrating game from the baseline was definitely the catalyst for her fourth Wimbledon title. Taking the fourth spot as her most recent triumph at SW19, which came in 2016. Coming into this tournament, Serena was simply frustrated. After heartbreaking losses in the US Open semifinals, Australian Open finals, and Roland Garros finals, Williams was longing for another chance at major glory. She looked to be in for a major disappointment, however, because following her opening round win, Serena found herself in great trouble against Christina McHale. After dropping the first set, then recovering to take the second, the top seed found herself a breakdown in the third set, in danger of suffering her earliest ever loss at Wimbledon. She managed to turn things around though to take the set 6-4. From this point forward, Serena's game this tournament completely turned around as she dominated her matches against Anika Beck, Svetlana Kuznetsova, and Anastasia Pavlichenkova. However, her most dominant display of the tournament, and possibly the entire year, came in the semifinals against Elena Vesnina. Serena simply outclassed the Russian, destroying her 6-2-6 love in 48 minutes. In the final, Williams was seeking revenge over Angelique Kerber after the German won their clash in the Australian Open final. This matchup was not a disappointment at all as the two ladies produced extremely high level tennis and frequently kept the crowd on their feet. Serena learning from her mistake in Melbourne approached the net more, effectively winning 76% of points from that area. This can be attributed to her playing doubles the same tournament which she won as well. Williams dispatched of Kerber 7-5, 6-3 in 1 hour and 21 minutes. This win was a special one for Serena as it tied her with Steffi Graf at 22 slams, the open era record. With her elevated, consistently high level play, this title run is a staple in Williams' career synopsis. Now the inception of her Wimbledon reign was in 2002, which occupies this list number 3 spot. Coming into the 116 championships, Serena was by far the hottest player winning titles at Miami, Rome, and Roland Garros. Her dominance in 2002 was rare and almost unmatched, and she continued this form into the championships. Williams made light work of Evie Dominikovic and Francesca Schiavone, but actually received her biggest test of the tournament from Belgian Els Callens, winning in two tiebreakers. She continued to dominate afterwards, beating Chanda Rubin and Daniela Hanchakova to reach the semifinals. Here, she put on an absolute masterclass, crushing French woman Amelie Moresbo to reach her second straight slam final. With this win, Serena became the world number one women's player, overtaking her sister Venus. Big Sis will also be the opponent for Serena in the championship. Venus was a slight favorite here, seeing that she was the two-time defending champion and plowed through the field. The early stages of this match was a tug of war, with both sisters experiencing highs and lows in different stretches. After a highly contested first set that went in the younger sister's favor, Serena ran away with the match, beating sister Venus 7-6-6-3 to win her second consecutive slam. This championship was arguably Serena's most commanding as she was the overwhelming best player in the field. Not only did she dominate the singles tournament, but she and Venus won the doubles in similar fashion. Her form was simply impeccable and she had the champion mindset of beating anyone in her path, even her sister. I go out there wanting every point. 
Doesn't matter who I'm playing. A win's a win. You have to go out there and fight. 10 years later in 2012, Serena had to do a lot of fighting at the Wilburton Championships, which is the main reason for its number two spot. Before the tournament start, Serena's form was unknown as a few weeks prior, she suffered her most shocking loss of her career at the time, losing in the opening round of Roland Garros. Despite being the four-time champion, not many believe Williams will make a deep run. In her first tournament with French coach Patrick Morandoglou, Serena looked to prove her critics wrong and resume her slam success. After sweeping past her first two matches, the number six seed faced a surprising test in Chinese woman Zhang Ji. Everybody expected a routine win in the favor of Serena, but a first set tiebreak win from Ji foreshadowed a great battle. However, after Serena won the second set in convincing fashion, many believed the third would be a sweep in her favor. Ji had other plans and pushed Williams to the absolute brink. The two were going toe to toe, with no breaks of serve being relinquished. Finally, at 7 all, Serena got the low necessary break, beating Ji 6 7, 6 2, 9 7. In the round of 16, Serena was once again pushed to three sets this time by Yaroslava Shvedova. Shvedova, following a historic golden set in their previous round, came within three points of victory, but Serena's fighting spirit saw her come out on top with a 6-1-2-6-7-5 victory. In the quarterfinals, Serena was actually the underdog going against defending champion Petra Kvitova. This was due to Serena's subpar form and near losses to two unseated players, and people simply believed Kvitova would be too much of a step up in class. However, Serena proved her critics wrong, significantly raised her game, and beat Kvitova in straight sets, 6-3-7-5. In the semifinal, Serena picked up another impressive win, taking out second seed Victoria Azarenka, 6-3-7-6. In the championship match, Serena faced first-time slam finalist Agnieszka Radwanska, and the pole was clearly overwhelmed by the occasion. Serena meanwhile played solid and earned a 6-1-4-2 lead. While it looked to be an easy road for her fifth Wimbledon title, Radwanska began to elevate her play and began to string some great points together. She managed to break Serena twice to take the second set 7-5, sending us into a decider. Williams, being the more experienced player in high pressure situations, elevated her game to another level storming to the title with a 6-1-5-7-6-2 win. This title run was not only memorable for the crazy matches or the Roland Garros turnaround, but even more Serena's serve as she hit a tournament record of 102 aces. In addition to winning the singles crown, she partnered with sister Venus to take the doubles. This is by far one of Serena's most memorable victories as it was her first slam since literally almost dying from a pulmonary embolism in 2011. People were doubtful that Serena would regain her dominant form, but with this trophy, she began an even more commanding reign over women's tennis. It seems difficult to see how the 2012 run can be topped, but I believe her 2015 title did just this, which is why it takes the top spot. This was by far Serena's most pressure-filled Wimbledon, as if she won it, she'd win her second Serena Slam. On paper, Serena had a nightmare draw as she was projected to face three Hall of Famers back to back to back in Venus, Azarenka, and Sharapova. She started her campaign of major number 21 and Wimbledon title number six with two 6-4-6-1 victories over Margarita Gasparian and Tamea Babos respectively. It looked like Serena would pick up another relatively easy victory as she went up 6-2-4-3 over Britt Heather Watson. Watson, fueled by the crowd support, continued to battle and get every ball back, frustrating Williams and inducing more errors. Watson managed to grab the set 6-4 and went up 3-love in the third with a double break. Despite Heather's multiple game point opportunities for the 4-love advantage, Williams hung tough and rallied four consecutive games to go up 4-3. Instead of relishing on her missed opportunities, Heather hit a new stride, holding then breaking Williams to serve for the match at 5-4. The Brit came within two points from the massive upset, but Serena once again reached another gear, 
winning the last three games to send both Watson and the crowd home with great disappointment. This match was an epic for multiple reasons. For one, Serena with everything against her shouldn't have won that match. Even she herself said that during the actual match, she was thinking of booking a flight to her next tournament in Sweden. Not only that, but she had to deal with the rowdy and disrespectful Wimbledon crowd, who even booed her at one point. Regardless of the adversity, Serena was through to the second week where she faced her sister Venus. It's never easy for either sister to play one another, and it was evident that Serena wasn't happy with the possibility of eliminating Venus from the tournament. She did just that, overwhelming her with a score of 6-4-6-3. Six, six, In the quarters, another highly anticipated match was on the cards as Serena faced two-time major champion Victoria Azarenka. The two had played twice before in 2015, with Serena winning both matches in tight three setters. Azarenka looked to change the narrative, taking the opening set 6-3. Unsurprisingly, Serena came back to win the second 6-2 and ultimately the third 6-3. Don't be fooled by the seemingly one-sided scorelines because this match was played at an extremely high level with magnificent ball striking from both women throughout. In a sharp contrast, the semifinals against Maria Sharapova was one-sided in Williams' favor as she dispatched of the Russian 6-2, 6-4 in 1 hour and 15 minutes. In the ladies' final, Serena faced Garbine Muguruza, the same woman who shocked her in the 2014 French Open second round. Muguruza was a first-time major finalist, but didn't play like it, quickly going up 4-2. Serena, who was visibly nervous in these early stages, willed herself to relax more, creating a full-on momentum shift. From that point forward, Williams reeled off the next 9 of 10 games, giving her a double break advantage in the set, the score being 6-4-5-1. Despite a minor choke and a late Muguruza surge, Serena capped off arguably her most trying title run, winning her 21st major and second Serena Slam. The past few seasons, Serena has come awfully close to adding another Venus Rose Water dish to her trophy cabinet. Although we'll have to wait until 2021 to see her attempt another, her already legendary reign on the lawns of Wimbledon deserves its shine in the meantime.